Hey fam and friends, so here's a follow-up to my last video describing how I nearly avoided, by God's grace, a pretty serious accident on the interstate. Um, quick one-liner is that uh, it was congested on the exit ramp and traffic was backed up, so I was still technically on the interstate waiting for uh, traffic to move so I can get through and take the exit but I was at a standstill and about 30 yards behind me, a really large truck was going way too fast. I estimate at about 40 miles per hour, I was wearing my seatbelt, but I saw in my rear view mirror that this car's going way too fast. So there's nothing I could do. Um, I have never felt so out of control of the situation. This is a unique instance. I've never been in a car accident. Thank you, God. Um, and so this this was scary and so one thing i learned in school and i kind of would think about every once in a while so it came to mind when i was in this situation is we were learning in medical school uh, how to care for patients who have suffered injuries from a motor vehicle accident and so a classmate of mine asked well what can you do if you're in the uh, car let's say you're not the driver and there is an accident going on and maybe you have a few seconds to do something well if you're unfortunately going to be uh, someone who is in a car accident or any kind of accident just look ahead what we call neutral injuries are way better than if you have your neck turned if you're looking at the car behind you because that kind of dysfunction is actually going to be more traumatic to the system so if you're finding yourself in a scary situation just look straight ahead, try to keep it neutral. Um, just based on a uh, physics standpoint, the transfer of momentum, it would actually be best to have uh, the driver take their foot off the brake. So I actually had time to do that. Um, I took my foot off the brake briefly to allow, if, if a person were to get hit, to allow that transfer of momentum, the energy would move through my sister's car that I was driving to the car in front of me. Um, instead, if if I were, if I had my foot on the brake, my sister's car would absorb more of the damage. It would actually be even better if I switched it out of gear, put the car in neutral, and even more energy would be transferred. So just some general principles. I hope no, none of you will ever have to use it. Um, and again, just be safe, wear your seatbelt. I've seen a lot of patients in the emergency department where their outcome is far worse if they're not wearing a seatbelt. Uh, if they get ejected from a car or something, or they're moving forward and their head hits the windshield, brain damage. So wear your seatbelt, be safe, and have a good Christmas.